Hi all, welcome to this Player of the Month, Lionel Messi, SBC Guide, 96 rated card with 90 pace, 94 shot and pass, 98 dribbling, 41 defending and 69 physical, setting you back around 2.1 million at the moment. So because Smash Leaks would be awesome, sub to channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for posting channel and social media links as always. Comment down below, are you even going to contemplate doing him? Are you going to get the team in the group stage or just get his base or UCL? So... Hopefully you find this useful, folks. Um, we have kind of sat and tried to grind it out um, smartly, but also to kind of break down each individual route. Um, the biggest criticism right away is the Barcelona, Argentina and La Liga packs are pretty poor. Everything should be a minimum 50k pack, and the 89s, in my personal opinion, should be 125s. Make it worthwhile for us. But the Barcelona route is about 130k to do at the moment and like they've made sure the way they've set this up is informs are uh, pretty much a minimum but they will eventually probably be needed if the base card supply dries up. So for the Barcelona route we have went with Rakitic as our Barcelona player but you could easily go like a Vidal or um, Arthur for example and compensate elsewhere with an 86 um, so keep like each route you can kind of do alternatives like for the start it, it's when you get into the raid squads is where it gets a bit tricky and um, so each route we've kind of broke down so when I was going to explain with Barcelona we went Handanovic for Tongan um, Delict, Skrinnard, Bonucci, Douglas Costa um, Mlinkovic, Savic, um, Lucas, Rakitic, Callahan, and Immobile. There's flexibility in that route. You could easily probably just go like Ilicic or Dzeko, whoever. If, and it gets you a 30k pack. With Argentina, these with the second part, 87 of Handanovic, Godin, Chiellini, Benucci, Skrinar, Ilicic, Pjanic, Mlinkovic, Savic, Laporte, Immobile, and Higuain. Higuain's going to be very, very common. I kind of emphasised him quite a bit to folk. Um, because of his nation and I kind of thought um, the league would play a big part in it. That gets you a 35k pack and as you can tell when you can throw an EPL player or any other league in into the odd positions it helps that little bit. Starting to get into the more crazy routes, an 88 rated squad for La Liga. I should have said the Argentina is just over 200k, La Liga is 275 at the moment. This is Oblak as a La Liga player expect him and Ter Stegen to be very very common at Modric but we've gone with Fertongen, Alderweireld, Laporte, Ederson, Fern Fernandinho, Ro Ozil, Eriksen, David Silva and Kane. There is so much flexibility with this route you can easily put in other cheaper players of these ratings if you wish but try and be wary at the same time because obviously when you look at it we've tried to make, su make sure it's one league but if you can fit in cheaper players of a different league then it helps. Also factor in the team of the group stage cards where possible, even the UCL base cards where possible. If there's if they're the same price, um you can pretty much maybe get away with UCL cards. You will see some folk do ways of going around it as well, so keep that in mind. La Liga gets you a forty five K pack, which is pretty paltry for an eighty eight rated squad. The First of the base 88 rated squads is there's so much you can play about with this which I'm quite pleased so that's why I'm showing you in the background. You can go um, Serie A is the most common way that I will um, be sorry EPL and Serie A will be the most common. Trying to keep away from the Liga as much as possible that is the way I would say do it. Um, Bundesliga you're struggling a little bit because you've only got a handful of high rated but you could probably still throw a few of them in if costs play in your favour. But the 88 squad we've gone of Handanovic, Chiellini, I'm sorry, Benucci even, at right back, Godin, Skrinar, Koulibaly, then Chiellini at left mid, Pjanic, Eriksen, Chesney, Harry Kane and Immobile. Like I've tried to make sure it's to the exact ratings requirement, so it's not easy in the slightest, it's just a bit of luck, but just some clever judgement thrown in as well, then it just gets crazier and crazier and crazier from there. 
this is when you can spot the difficulties start to creep in with like the 89 rated squad for example um, the first one 4-3-3 we've gone with Allison, Lloris, Laporte, Vertonghen then Ter Stegen, Oblak, David Silva, Eriksen, Ederson, Kane and Lewandowski as you can tell the route still works perfectly fine um, it's, I'm using what I've got packed of Larissa and Laporte who are both untradeables um, or should be I'm, um, I'm sure my Laporte's untradeable yeah I know Larissa because I got them like, the other night in the 45k pack for the UCL group stage what you would commonly find is that the routes themselves the way they're designed it's to try and catch you out with certain positions so you can be, might be able to compensate nicely with say four defenders in back four you might have to go a front three of like goalkeepers or three strikers but then the mid you might need one mid somewhere but as long as the leagues all kind of link up if you can get strong links where necessary helps and it makes a big difference in making this just not only easier but it can keep the overall cost like kind of down really like the second 89 squad we kind of have to rely on hybrids and it just makes it that little bit tricky you will see all black feature a lot in 89 rate squads I'm afraid or at least that's the way I'm looking at it at the moment but we've gone with Handanovic, Allison, Chiellini, Godin, Koulibaly, Lloris then all black, David Silva, Eriksen then Ederson sorry right mid and then Harry Kane up top I've had to put the way I've done it, it allows um, like strong links and so forth and it's just that kind of bit of luck on how you can get it to kind of fit together but we get there, it takes a bit of time, it takes a bit of crafting and then the 89 with the inform is only a rare mega I think like last year when we would have like 89 rate scores it was minimal like 100k pack so it's like why is it a 50k, 55k pack for it? 89 rated squad with one in form there's like no um, fairness in it but we've gone with Handanovic, Koulibaly then Godin, Chiellini in form, Immobile the second in form one, 88 one then Oblak, Cruz, Eriksen, Larice, Kane and Suarez now I'll mention it near the end again of the video but as you can see one problem here we've got Suarez Got all black and Cruz. We've had to kind of delve into the La Liga element of doing this, and that is where part of the problem kicks in. And you've just got to kind of say to yourself, is there another way around it? There probably is. Uh, maybe like Dybala, for example, where Cruz is. But you've just got. To, it comes down to those three players in particular. Who is cheapest? That's kind of what it comes down to. If you can find a way around it, then you're sorted. So to kind of break down each individual route and each individual cost at the moment, this is what we're kind of coming towards for a spend at 2.1 million. Barcelona is about 130, 135, 125 to 135. Argentina is about 200 to 210. La Liga 275, 88 is 290, 295. The first 89 rate score is about. 400k, the second one's about the same and then the inform one is about the same as well, so it kind of just shows that for 2.1 million 315k worth of packs for a 96 rated card, this is the most expensive player of the month SBC that we've fundamentally ever had, is he worth it? In short no I would say because the team in the group stage is tradable and also it's only 20 days why is it 20 days because of team of the year if that was 30 days I think a lot more people would probably want to do this card because they would go heavy on packs and I would imagine the team of the, the play of the month then may be a bit more appealing to do but I'll leave you with the 89 rate squad again with the inform just to give you a last minute look um, out that um, why I've kind of shown each but like it comes down to your discretion if you want to do them do them if if you've got like say 500 like if you've got all the untradables and you're like I'm going to do them anyway because it gives me 
um, stuff to get rid of, then fair enough, it's your choice and you can see it gives you messy. But hopefully you find it useful folks, let me know in the comments, are you going to do this SBC at all? Smash the likes always, sub to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you all later.